1.4a. Simplify algebraic expressions. Substitute a value. If you heard the saying that I have a dozen eggs, it would mean that I have 12 eggs. Basically, the word dozen stands for a number, or it represents a number. Variables are very similar to this in that they are letters that represent numerical or number amounts. If we know the amount, we can replace it in an expression. Whenever we make a substitution or replacement, we need to remember to put it in parentheses. This is very important because without parentheses, it may cause some problems to become incorrect. Example one is asking us to evaluate the expression shown as negative x squared minus 7x minus 12 when x is equal to negative 4. It's basically like you have been given a secret code in which they told you what the x stands for. We therefore can evaluate the expression or find what it is equal to by replacing or substituting the negative 4 in for wherever we saw an x. In order to do so, it is usually best to start by rewriting the expression shown here and write parentheses everywhere there was an x, leaving openings to place the replacement. As you can see, this still would be negative something squared minus 7 times something minus 12. They have given us what this something is. It is negative 4. We therefore place a negative 4 within all parentheses that were represented by the letter x. We now may use the order of operations to solve this problem. Remember, writing PEMDAS will help you to ensure that you have done the order of operations in the correct order. We start with P, and as you can see, there are no operations within parentheses. Next, we have E, or exponents. There is an exponent, so we must first evaluate it. As you can see, we have a negative 4 squared. The negative is inside the parentheses and therefore attached to the exponent. This means that we are asking ourselves what is negative 4 times negative 4. Remembering that the multiplication rules state that a negative times a negative becomes a positive 16. This therefore means that negative 4 squared has turned into a 16. We now bring down all portions of the problem that have been yet to be used. This includes the negative that was out front. We now can cross off E or exponents as there are no further exponents to be completed. Next is multiply and divide. Remember you do whichever comes first in the problem because we work from left to right. In this problem, you can see there is only one multiplication, which is negative 7 times negative 4. A negative times a negative will result in a positive 28. Remember, since this is still part of an expression, you must write the positive or plus symbol down. You then continue to write down all pieces that have yet to be used. 
we have now completed all of the multiply and divide and may move on to add and subtract, remembering that we must move from left to right. This means we do the first two numbers first. These two numbers have different signs. Remember with different signs you subtract and the negative 16 and a positive 28, it subtracts to 12. The 12 is then positive because the 28 is positive. The positive is not needed as there is no operations in front of the 12. We then bring down the negative 12 that has yet to be used. We now have the last two numbers which are a positive and a negative. A positive and a negative are different signs, therefore we subtract. 12 minus 12 results in the answer of 0. Example 2 also asks us to evaluate. Only in this example, there are multiple letters that stand for multiple different numbers. You can think of the second portion as the key to the code in which it tells you what A equals, what B equals, and what C equals. Therefore, just as above, we start by writing parentheses for all of the letters in the problem. We have parentheses squared minus 4, parentheses for the A, and parentheses for the C. It is sometimes helpful to have the problem written above to remember which parentheses stood for which letter. Remember that these are multiply because of the fact that there is no symbol between the 4 and the A or the A and the C. And if no symbol is written, it is multiplication. We now look at the code to determine what goes where. We see that A is 2 and we also see where the A is in the problem. We therefore write 2 in that location. Next, we see that B is negative 3, and we see where B is in the problem. This therefore means that we write a negative 3 in that location. Finally, we look at C is negative 5 and assess where C is in the problem. Since C is located here, we place a negative 5 in that location. Now that we have an expression that is all numbers, we can evaluate. Remember to write PEMDAS down the side of your page to ensure the order of operations is done correctly. As you can see, there are no parentheses that have operations inside of them. We therefore move on to exponents. We can see that we do have an exponent. The exponent is negative 3 squared. Since the negative is inside of the parentheses, it is therefore included. We can go to the side and do the operation negative 3 times negative 3, which will give us a positive 9. We now have 9 minus 4 times 2 times negative 5. We have now completed all of the exponents, and we can move on to multiply and divide from left to right. We start with the first one, which is negative 4 times positive 2, this results in a negative 8. Remember, all pieces that have yet to be done must be brought down. Next, we have the operation of negative 8 times negative 5, which results in a positive 40. Remember, you must write the plus, as there are still things in front of the 40. We have now completed multiply and divide, and therefore, can do add and subtract. 9 plus 40 gives us the answer, which is 49. Remember to always show your order of operations and make sure to put parentheses for where the letters are located.